The term the gay agenda has quickly come out of nowhere to become a co I want to say thank you to the gay agenda. Let's go, gay agenda! The gay agenda. The basis of it is so mean-spirited because it's basically they're trying to find some way to say that we are better than them. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Welcome back to another episode of Life with Jay and Joe. I am Jay. And I'm Joe with the new haircut. I cut all my hair off. <laughs> yeah. So before we get started, I wanted to let you guys know, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell that friend, cousins, nieces, brothers, aunties, uncles, uncles, grandmas, great grandmas, step grandmas, grandma-in-law, granddaddies, their granddaddies too, to also like, subscribe, and share. And remember guys, we love you guys. Mean it. What is the gay agenda? Agenda. The definition from Wikipedia is a term used by sectors of the Christian religious right as a way to describe the advocacy of cultural acceptance, normalization of non-heterosexual orientation and relationships. So basically what they're trying to say is that we as the LGBTQIA plus community have this hidden agenda to basically promote homosexuality, which is definitely not true. So far from the truth. So here's the thing, like when you guys say stuff like that, let us tell you what you're saying. The first thing you're saying is what we're trying to do is recruit people to be homosexuals or to be gay or to be trans or to be bisexual or to be lesbian. And sweetie. <laughs> That's not the case? No. Yeah. <laughs> like I said before, we are. it's already too many of us. We don't need no more of y'all coming over here on this side. In my opinion, all we want to do is just be who we are, live open and free, live our our lives, our authentic selves, and we don't want no discrimination. We don't want no hate. We don't want no no extra treatment. We just want to do what we do, be who we are, and keep it moving. So the part that really trips me out, and I think I've touched on this before, is just like in a straight world, people are allowed to live how they want to live and nobody's talking about them pushing an agenda. But for us to live our lives as we want to live it, and we're not going out hurting anybody, I'm not pushing hate, I'm not pushing violence, I'm not doing any of those things, but now I'm considered as pushing a gay agenda because I want to live my life openly and free. That part is really just trips me out. I think it's insane. I think the people that came up with it are slightly crazy. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, not not even a little bit. And I feel like, yeah, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just think it's dumb. You're also saying that we're like undermining traditional family values. And I also find that crazy because we're not trying to undermine traditional family values, if you even want to call it that. Um, meaning the traditional part. Uh, what we're also trying to do is just let you know that we as LGBTQ plus individuals have families. There are some gay couples that have kids. There are some gay couples that have adopted kids. You know, not only that, uh, we're a married couple. So we can have those same things that you all can have as in the people that say we're pushing the agenda. We're allowed to have those too, and that's okay. And what I don't understand is why you feel that is not okay. That part is not okay to me. You just act like everything is just okay, then you're part of the problem. Yeah, a lot of us appreciate family. A lot of us want to have a family. A lot of us are close to our family. A lot of us love our parents. A lot of us love our brothers and sisters. I don't understand how, because we wanna do we love who we love and are who we are. That means that we want to demean or just diminish family values. That just doesn't make any sense to me. It doesn't equate. The math is not mathing. It definitely doesn't make any sense. I'm going to cut you off, but no, I'm fine. it definitely doesn't make any sense. And also on top of that, you know, if we were not a married couple, if something was to happen to him, you know, God forbid something happens to him, but they can literally tell me I was not would not be allowed to even visit him in the hospital or have any rights to anything. And I don't know if a lot of like people that consider us as pushing this agenda even think on that level because when they get married, nobody's looking at them 
in any sort of way. Yeah. So if something happens to the wife or something happens to the husband, it's common for them to go to the hospital and be like, oh, I came to see my wife or I came to see my husband or, oh, my wife is sick, so I'm going to go ahead and handle all of their affairs. I'm going to take care of everything. I can handle that. But for a long time, before marriage became legal in the United States, we had no rights. There are many stories of people being in relationships and then somebody passed in a relationship and then the person is not even allowed to go to the funeral, not even allowed to see them in a hospital, not even allowed to see them. Maybe they are still alive or maybe even take their last breath because they're not considered family. So it's just like, there's a lot of things that goes into it. And I just really find it extremely irritating and crazy for this to be an agenda because we're trying to live our lives the same way so many people have been living their lives for years on top of years and on top of years. Yeah, imagine spending 30 years of your life with someone for something to happen and then for their family to tell you at the very end, you are not welcome here. How would you feel? And you have no rights because if you were not married, they, they have that right to probably tell you that you have no rights. It, it just doesn't make any sense. You cut me off. Oh, sorry, go ahead. No. I thought you were done. I, I'm in hell. <laughs> well, go ahead and say it again. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> um, another another thing that you guys suge are suggesting when you say that we're pushing the gay agenda is, the, is that we're trying to recruit youth. We're trying to recruit minors. And that is just not true. That's not true. In my opinion, I think what we want for our youth and what we want for our minors is for them to know that there is diversity. We are not all the same. There are gonna be different types of people. They're gonna face different types of situations. They're gonna see different types of things and that is okay. Yeah, because I mean, if you think about it, say for instance, you're a kid and you've been raised in this world where you only get to hear about and see people like you. So now you're going to college. You're 18 now and you're going off to college. Now you're going to a different area and you're going to be exposed to a lot more different people. Now, if you've been that kid that have been raised to feel like you're the only kind and Shelter. anything else is is wrong so now when you get out there and you see people that don't look like you and this, this can even go to like just you know um skin color it can go to race but we're just going to bring it back to you know the lgbtq plus community you see people that's in this community now you start developing hate because you don't understand it and you see it as wrong and this is because maybe if you would have been open to this later earlier on in your life you want to have these feelings. And it's not us trying to make your kids gay. I don't want your kids to be gay. What I want your kids to do is be who they want to be. That's it. If they want to be gay, let them be gay. Yeah, I mean, I think when you do stuff like that, what you're doing is, is promoting ignorance. And I'm not calling nobody's child ignorant, but when you shelter a child and they don't know diversity of any kind, they don't know that there are other people, other things, other races, other cultures, other religions, other beliefs outside of what they know. That is that results in ignorance. Yeah. I mean, there was a, a meme or a picture that was going around on Facebook that asked parents a question. Would you rather have a gay child or a child that is in a gang and is being it will be in jail for 60 years or however many years it was that's all right and a lot of people really said that they would have a child in the gang that go that's going to jail that is baffling to me yeah because they don't want to have their kid to be considered gay and it's funny because at the same time you don't want to have a kid that, that's considered gay, but when it's all said and done, that gay child is going to be the one that you call on. Yeah. I can promise you that. And another thing you're saying when you're saying that we're trying to push this gay agenda is that we are anti-religious. Now, if you've been following this channel, you will probably already know that I have taken the religion out of it for me. I will develop my own, well, I have my own relationship with God. I choose not to go to church for many reasons I've already discussed on this channel, but basically 
just to do a quick summary, I feel like it's full of hypocrites. I'm not saying that everybody in the church is a hypocrite, but I feel like it's full of hip hypocrites. And I'm tired of hearing people telling me that I'm gonna go to hell. And I'm just gonna leave it at that. But as far as being anti-religious, that's definitely not true because there are a lot of people in our community that are very religious. There are a lot of people that write your favorite songs that you sing in church every Sunday was probably wrote by a gay person. There are a lot of people that's playing the pianos and playing the drums that you're shouting to God when you're in church that are being played by a gay person. There are a lot of people that's singing the songs that are being sung by gay people. So it really just makes no sense that People even say that we're anti-religious or anti-Christianity when it's so many of us that are so deeply involved in that. And my reason for removing religion out, not that I'm anti-religion because I do love Jesus, I do love God, but a lot of people in the church have made me feel this way because you're so hateful and because of the things I've heard people say to me as I'm sitting in church and all of the hypocritical stuff I've seen people do where they're in church and saying that we're going to hell for being homosexual, but then they're out cheating with the next lady that they see coming out of a club or they're out drinking and smoking, but in church telling me that we're going to hell for sin, but then they say drinking and smoking is a sin, but yet they're still doing it. I just, it, it, it just trips me out. And I know this is like very long winded, but I have some really, really deep, feelings towards this whole that 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 part of it and what i will say to that is my in my opinion in my most humble of opinions what you guys consider gay people or homosexual or people members of the lgbtqia plus to not believe in religion or not take religion seriously is because when you when some when people preach or teach the bible they tend to turn things and twist things and manipulate things and things that's wrote written and said in the bible to degrade or to downplay or to down talk members of our community and that is why some of us have these deep rooted feelings about religion uh, not i'm sorry not religion about christianity not religion um however what i would say to that is i feel like it is important to have people like eddie and people like whomever else who are a part of our community and who knows the bible that can break down the bible and explain it to people like us in ways that we can relate so why did we decide to have this conversation about the gay agenda so basically when we did our 10 misconceptions that we dropped maybe about like two weeks ago, and one of the misconceptions was um, that we are trying to push the gay agenda, meaning we as in, you know, the LGBTQ plus community. And truthfully- QIA plus. QIA plus, sorry. Uh, and truthfully, I really didn't know what the gay agenda was. Like, like I've heard of it before, but I really didn't understand it. And we had a lot of people come in the comments and mention, you know, what their thoughts were on it. And also after that video, I decided to do some research and then we both started researching and we got very like intrigued and kind of went down the rabbit hole of what this whole gay agenda thing is. It is bananas and it baffles me. The fact that a person or people or a group of people just want to be who they are. And from that, y'all get that we're pushing some sort of agenda it's weird it's very weird and um yeah i don't know what else to say besides it's weird as f and i think whoever is pushing the fact that we're pushing the gay agenda has something going on in their head and maybe they need to push themselves to a psychiatrist to talk to them in their own agenda <laughs> right. that's your agenda to go see a psychiatrist um uh, this comment is from at Mark Lewis, 1890. Mark Lewis, 1890. 
The idea of a gay agenda is ridiculous. It's the media and, so and society being bent out of shape because we as LGBT people are living our lives existing. We want to coexist. We don't want your precious children. And I second that motion. Believe me, we don't want your kids. We want our own children, first of all. And then we, we're not trying to push anything on children. Yeah, and then uh, the whole thing about the media and society just bent out of shape. Like, I do think people get bent out of shape for no reason. Like, there's so many things going on in this world, and there are a lot of things going on in this world. The gay agenda needs to be the last thing that should be having somebody in an uproar about something. Because there's so many other things you should be worried about. Yeah, I agree. Like, I, the, I, what I eat don't make you go to the bathroom. Who I sleep with don't make you, you know, like, so why is it any of your business? Like, wh why does it even matter? Yeah, and if you don't like it, don't watch it. Turn the channel. This is from Terrence Jones 3343. The gay agenda is just acknowledging that we exist in a light that's either positive or just as normal as anyone else's. And that really stuck with me when I read that because it's like a positive light. Like we're not doing anything negative, not saying that everybody that's gay has never done anything negative, but like most people just are living their life and they're just living their life, a good life, doing good things, help people, caring for people, loving people. We're not trying to push hate. We're not trying to push violence. We're not doing a lot of things that I would think people would have a problem with. So why is that such a big problem? Why can't we just enjoy our lives without people having a problem with us enjoying our lives? Like, it makes no sense. And in all honesty, like, we are here. We've always been here. Yeah. We're going to be here, and y'all just going to have to deal with it. No shade. Yeah. And as the time goes, you're going to see more and more of us because more and more of us are getting comfortable and not because of the gay agenda, but we're just tired of hiding ourselves to make you all feel better about yourself. Sick and tired of being sick and tired, you feel me? Right. So. This one is from Kasnarf Burns, 210. I apologize if I butchered your Spell name. Spell it out too. K-S-N-A-R-F Burns, 210. It sounds like Kasnarf Burns. The gay agenda is largely what bigoted people see as gay men wanting to be visible in the daylight. No one accuses straight people of pushing a straight agenda when they condition all children to expect to have a heteronormative future. And um, I agree. Like, here's the thing. When you got, when, when children are being raised, you guys don't say you're going to be a heterosexual. You are going to have a heterosexual life with heterosexual children. You guys don't say that. And because you don't say that, what makes you think that anybody says you're going to live a gay life? You're going to have gay children. That, that's absurd. And it's also absurd that you would think something like that about people. That's crazy. Yeah, and I think something that he said, what well, I felt like really resonated with me was the whole that we want to be visible in the daylight. And I took that as like, it's so many people that, especially in the past, maybe not as common now, but there's still some people where they always feel like they had to be in the shadows or in the dark, do things in the dark, didn't want people finding out. And now we're getting to this point where we're more comfortable being ourselves and talking about ourselves out in the open and not hiding it. And as he said, be in the daylight because people are tired of being like, like closed off. We're tired of hiding. And there's so many people that have done things to themselves. Even some people have unalived themselves because of dealing with bullying and the pressuring and all this stuff just because they're scared to be who they want to be. And we're sick and tired of it. And I'm so happy that, you know, we're doing this channel. I'm happy that you guys are interacting with this channel. I'm happy that there's other gay channels that are like out here doing it. Uh, but I'm just so happy that there's so many other channels that, that's like, that's just out there, whether you're doing vlogs, conversations, anything. No, don't let anybody tell you you're pushing a gay agenda. What you're doing is living your life and I'm happy that you're doing it and I support all of you. I support you. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> but like, how we go from being serious to so silly, right? Because <laughs> I support you. So with that being said, like we said earlier, in reference to the gay agenda, nobody's pushing the gay agenda. We are simply being who we are, being our authentic selves and living our lives like it's golden, living our life like it's golden, golden, living our lives like it's golden, golden, living our lives, live it, live it, live it, live it, live it, live it, living our lives like it's golden. Wow. So maybe you can maybe you can say he's pushing a non-singing agenda. <laughs> now that I'm fine with, but the gay agenda is gonna be a no for me. <laughs> so, so yeah, um, yeah, y'all just should y'all just need to let that go. Like, get over it. Like, we're here, we're not going anywhere, and there are a lot of us. So just deal with it. And the crazy part is, some of y'all that are fighting so hard against us, your own kids may end up being one of us. Or yeah. maybe you secretly want to be one of us and that's why you can't take it. So whatever it is, deal with it on your own time and deal with it outside of calling us whatever you want to call us. And also deal with it outside of coming on our page, leaving all those hateful comments. And uh, let go and let God. Right. See, we do know about God. <laughs> Just to let you know, we will be doing an update soon on our viral renewal that is coming December 14th of 2025. We are hella, 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 hella excited about that. Um, and the reason that we're gonna do an update soon is because uh, one of our members, great family members, McDonald Ephraim, basically said like, I need an update. <laughs> so, yes, and, and to that we apologize. <laughs> we do apologize. We apologize. Because I know we were supposed to be doing this like keeping you guys up to date on what's going on. But um, yeah, we have been doing stuff. We just haven't created a video about it. So maybe we'll do a, a little chat and chew and give you guys a little update. You know, yeah. fill you guys in on what's what's next and where we are so far. Yeah, some things have changed, but we have picked the venue and we have confirmed the venue, and we have started you know doing other things. Yes, and we'll leave it at that until next time. Bye. <laughs> Love you guys. Peace out, fam. <laughs>